Hey guys, Josh here, and today I'd like to introduce you to 25 of my favorite custom designs for a tropical island in Animal Crossing New Horizons. You'll be able to find timestamps for different categories of designs in the video description, as well as all of the creator codes. I'm sure you'll discover quite a few useful designs in there, even if your island doesn't follow the tropical theme, so let's get started. The first design is this bright and inviting water path. It is perfect if you feel like your island needs a few extra beaches, allows you to place furniture on top of water, and the design also comes with two variations, with or without transparency. Next is this beautiful white sand path sprinkled with blue and white seashells. This one can use up to 15 design slots, so just keep that in mind, but it will really allow you to create a beachy atmosphere all around your island. If you're looking for a color that matches the default sand texture of the game, then I would recommend you to go with this sand pad instead. I really like the blue and pink seashells on the borders, plus you also get these little sand stars to put outside of your path. These cream colored bricks are perfect to add a bit of an urban feel to your tropical island. I use these on my own island around the resident services in the different shops and I think they look pretty good. I'm also using these wooden planks quite a lot on my island. One good thing about them is that they come in a variety of colors and sizes, and I also recommend you try placing them on top of different things such as dirt or sand. These mosaic tiles impress me every single time I see them during an island tour and now I really want to start using them. They come in different color schemes and each set also has a beautiful accent tile as well that you can use. Next is this wooden deck, so this one can take up quite a few design slots depending on how detailed you want it to be, but it does look stunning, especially with those stairs, and it also comes in so many different colors. And if you want to make your deck look extra fancy, I definitely recommend adding these lush greenhouse windows, and you can improve it even further by adding these white shutters and get some extra details in there. Not satisfied yet? Maybe try spicing up the floor a little bit with this beautiful glass flooring. It comes in two different colors as well as variations with or without reflection. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you some of my favorite style designs starting with this pineapple sundae shop. I really like the colors on this one and it also comes with a lovely menu sign. Next we have this colorful juice bar menu. This one is so cute in my opinion and I'm definitely gonna use it on my island. Also I decided to match it with this lush palm leaves stall. The next design on our list is this Hawaiian inspired stall. It is so bright and colorful as well as filled with details such as these little fish in the fringes. This thatch stall is probably one of my favorites. It instantly gives a traditional rustic vibe to any area of your tropical island, and it is definitely the perfect design for a tiki bar or other tourist trap. Then we have this lovely aloha print. This one not only looks good on stalls, but also on beach towels, simple panels, cushions, and so much more. Let me know guys in the comments on what furniture you think this one would look good. Of course, you can't have a tropical beach without some starfish and seashells. This design has both of these things, plus the colors are super cute. The creator also made three variations of this design so it won't look too repetitive. Next we have these adorable sea turtles. They can go left, right or down, so you can put them on all of your beaches. Just use a shell stool for the shell, but don't sit on it guys, that's not very nice. Hopefully you can find your favorite villagers in one of these 81 villagers sand drawing. I was lucky and 5 of mine were on there, it's such a nice way to add details to your beach and show some love to your villagers at the same time. If you'd rather have more generic sand drawings, then I think you might like these ones. There's a few cute animals, a pencil, a flower, an apple and a few more. It's such a fun way to play in the sand. And speaking of playing in the sand, here's the tool you need for your sand castle, a toy shovel. 
Don't forget to add the bucket beside it. And now I really want to see my villagers build against Sand Castle. That would be adorable. Or if you're more into sports than Sand Castles, then I would suggest you this amazing volleyball court. This one is so creative and I wish I had found it earlier. It takes up to 6 design slots, but if you do have the space for it, I definitely think it's worth it. After all this playing around on the beach, you're probably hungry, right? What about some barbecue? This one comes in two versions, meat and veggies, or seafood. Just put this design on an outdoor table and get cooking. So, would you like some fruit for dessert? In this sweet hat collection, you'll find lemon, kiwi, banana, grapefruit, orange, apple, and even more. These are definitely ideal for any market or orchard on your island. All right, now let's talk about flowers. It can't be a tropical island without some beautiful and colorful flowers, right? So let's start with this yellow flower patch. Yellow is my favorite color, so I use it pretty much everywhere on my island and I love it, especially in this area right there. This pink one looks pretty similar to the previous one, but it's actually from a different creator. You can definitely use both flowers together and they will look pretty good. Or just pick the color that fits best with your island. Of course, we need to have some hibiscus too. These ones look quite big, so even though they look gorgeous, I would recommend using them with moderation or it could look repetitive quite fast as they really do stand out. Last but not least, hibiscus again, but these ones look like the bushes. So if you miss hibiscus season like me, put these on simple panels. I recommend the black ones. And I would also suggest trying to hide the frame, maybe with trees or other items if you can. Alright guys, that's it. I hope these designs inspired you. All of the codes are in the description, so go ahead and download them. Share your creations with the rest of this community by joining our Discord server. The link is also in the description. If you'd like to see more of my favorite custom designs, please click like on this video and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.